Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Kenya, Zambia, Mongolia and Laos. What do these countries have in common? These countries are either on the brink of bankruptcy or have already gone bankrupt. According to a report by the Associated Press, a dozen poor countries are on the verge of collapse under the weight of billions of dollars in foreign loans that they had taken from China. These countries are using their foreign currency reserves to pay the interest on these loans, eventually taking a hit on their tax revenue, which is needed to keep schools open, provide electricity, pay for food and fuel. The main factor that is driving such a turbulence is China's reluctance to forgive debt and its extreme secrecy about how much money it has loaned and on what terms, which has kept other major lenders from stepping in to help. According to the analysis done by Associated Press, these countries had as much as 50% of their foreign loans from China and most were devoting more than a third of government revenue to paying off the foreign debt. Zambia and Sri Lanka have already gone into default, unable to pay even the interest on these loans. Pakistan, on the other hand, laid off millions of textile workers because it cannot afford to keep its machines running. Similarly, Kenya hasn't been able to pay thousands of civil service workers to save cash and pay foreign loans. Sri Lanka has already defaulted last year, leading to half a million job losses and inflation touching 50%. Experts believe that unless China begins to show some leniency on these loans, the financial turbulence in these countries not improving anytime soon. In the past, big government lenders like the United States, France and Japan would work out deals to forgive some debt. But China has played a different game here. China refused to engage in any multinational talks and had barred the borrowing countries from telling non-Chinese lenders the terms and conditions of the loans. In the middle of all such turmoil, Chinese lenders refused pleas from Zambia to suspend interest payments for a few months. This, in turn, led to Zambia using up its foreign reserves, leading the country into poverty. Researchers found that Zambia owed $6.6 billion to Chinese state-owned banks, double what many analysts had expected previously. These countries now find themselves stuck in a vicious loan cycle. China won't soften its stance on repayment and IMF will not offer low interest loans if the money is just going to be used to pay interest to China. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.